Hello, everybody, it's Brandon Youth 14. Welcome to a brand new video. So, today we are remaking my alcohol tier list because you know what? I've improved. It's been 18 months. I've improved with time. And as you can see, this it's not terrible, but it's not the one. So, I've made my own tier list template. I'll leave the link in the description. Send me yours. At the end of this video, we'll have a look at a couple of people's, you know, tiers. I'm gonna I'm gonna review a couple of people's and slander them in the same way you guys slandered mine. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. You're a wizard, Harry. Nothing too complicated. We've got your S D D and an NA for anything you haven't tried. But obviously, I'm somewhat of the connoisseur myself. Lager. Lager is solid. It's it's a refreshing beverage. It's an A tier. It's not S, because you have some stinky, stinky lagers. But in general, on a warm day and a cold lager, there's nothing better. A craft beer. I like a craft beer. I like one. But again, it has the volatility to be even more of a stinker. Even more of an L. Are we saying B or C? What are we, what are we going with? I like a craft beer, but I only like certain craft beers. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop it down to C. This might be a bit controversial, but I'm dropping it down to C. It's solid. It's okay. C is kind of my... Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Apple cider. Just general cider. I've chosen the Strongbow <laughs> can, but you know what? I Just original cider, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of. It's all right, but why would I have that when I can have a, mm, a nice crisp lager? Now, we've got the dark fruits. I put this on here because I want. I just want a, you know, a fruit cider. And although now in my life, I don't really drink much fruit cider. I can't forget my roots. I, I grew up on fruit cider. I, I, I'll leave MB. Dark fruits is not the one. Okay, if you drink dark fruits, you're actually a child. In general, fruit ciders, they can hit again on a summer day like cold fruit cider. Just hits the spot. Alco Fops, baby. Alco Fops. <laughs> this is, okay, this is my controversial opinion. I love them. They just, they just taste good. Like, listen, I get, I'm not going to sit there and drink them all day. That's why they're not an S. Listen, a little VK, a little WKD. <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing, but they taste good. Oh, the seltzers. You know what? That's a C. That's an easier C. They just taste like water. If I wanted to drink water, I'd order a water. I don't need alcoholic water. I don't I don't get it. It's very American. It's okay. They taste all right. I'd just rather pretty much everything else on this list. Now we're on to the wines. Okay, this is, this is a touchy subject to me because I'm not much of a wine drinker. But I do have my opinions on wine. White wine is C tier. You know what? It's C tier. For me, it's very acidic. It does me really badly. Like, my body is just in pain after drinking white wine. But it's okay. Rosé is a bit sweeter. Much like the fruit cider, it's a bit sweeter. It's a bit nicer. Again, on a summer's day. Crisp. Lovely. Red wine, also beat it. I know. I know. It's not quite this crisp kind of summer's day drink that the rest of the drinks from this point up, up are. But... If I'm feeling a bit fancy, you know, a little dinner party, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's it's kind of, it's got a taste for a certain mood. And when you're in that certain mood, it does taste good. As not much of a wine drinker, it bloody does the job. Vodka. Tastes rank. I like, literally just thinking about it right now, I feel ill. But it's going eight here. In my head, if you mix it with anything, it works. It works well. Even shots, they might be disgusting, but it's just a staple. It's just the go-to shot basically it's just easy i can wrap my head around it it makes sense i don't enjoy it but it's going a tier anyway this makes no sense this list makes no sense gin 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 is c tier listen i understand if you like gin there's nothing remotely general wrong with gin it's just my personal preference that i do not like gin i find it just dries me out never shot gin nasty there's just other stuff i would get it's my personal preference i know some people have gin and s tier up to you, man. It's up to you. Whiskey. Last time I got slated for putting whiskey so low. In fact, I put it in Molotov it. And no, I put Jack Daniels in Pour It Out. Now, although I have matured um, in some senses, I've not matured that much. Okay, it's it's still C tier. It's still C. It's very much, give me a glass, I'll drink it. Listen, it's just not for me. Again, it's something I would have definitely not need. I, I, okay, that's where I draw the line. That's where, that's where you push me over the edge. I'd, I'd have it with Coke, but then there's more stuff I would have Coke with. I now got a first S tier. Spiced rum. When I tell you that I wouldn't have whiskey with Coke, I'd have spiced rum with Coke. It is just the most caramel, sweet, luxurious. 
oh, taste in the world. If you don't drink, I'm not encouraging you to drink. But if you do drink and you haven't got into spiced rum, do it. Just try it. Just give it a taste. With a bit of Coke, the perfect pour. Get a nice fancy one to start off with and it will just be like syrup in your mouth. Now, the taste of tequila on its own would leave it for me in B or C tier. But it's just the way you have it. With the lime, the salt. It just feels good. It is, as a shot, it is A tier. Brandy. I've not had brandy much. I've not had it with any mixer. But I've also never seen anyone drink it with mixer. To me, it's just a worse whiskey. With whiskey, I could have it with Coke and I could drink it. Brandy, I'm not so sure. Sambuca, however, that might also be A tier. It's above tequila. The licorice taste, it just goes down well. Again, you wouldn't mix it with anything, but as a shot, in general, it's just A tier. I, I enjoy it personally. It, it just, to me, I'm not, a, I'm not a licorice lover. Don't get me wrong. But in terms of alcohol tastes and when it comes to shots, it's, it's good, man. Jaeger. So as you can see, Jaeger used to be a good night out. But I've since matured. Jaeger is now at the bottom of B tier for me. There is always a night out where you where you love a Jaeger bomb. A bit of a bit of Red Bull, a bit of Jaeger. It can't go amiss. But it just it's just becoming sickly. It just becomes kind of nasty. If you have too many We all know the story. Although it tastes alright, it can have some very dire consequences. And I found that out the hard way. Sours and other schnapp bases drinks. Uh they can go at the top of C. Listen, I like I don't mind the taste, but they're just so sweet and they're not particularly strong. Uh, not that every drink has to be strong, don't get me wrong. But you drink sours on a on a crazy night. You do have those crazy nights where you drink shots and whatnot. You have that on one of those nights, and in order to get drunk off one of them, off sours, you need to have a lot. They're so sweet. So like sickly that you can't drink too much. And therefore it's C. Like it's just not a it's not an efficient drink in my head. Same with Fireball. That is also going in C now. I don't know how I put it in worth a hangover, but it is now C tier. Disarano. A bit of Amaretto. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I would put it in B tier. It's not the, it's not the strongest of spirits, but it t- to me it tastes a bit nicer than Sours. I could drink a bit more of it. You have it with a bit of Coke. It's more variable. It does different things, but again, it's not my choice to drink just because I like something a bit stronger, if you get, if you get what I'm saying. Kahlua. A little coffee liqueur. Um, I'll put it at the top of C. I wouldn't really have it on its own, but in the espresso martini or something like that, I can't complain. Not my choice to drink. Much, much like again with Aperol, it's fine, but it's not my drink. I, I, I understand why people like it, but for me personally, I give it a miss. Bailey's, I'm putting it right next to red wine because it's that kind of drink. On a certain type of night, I can drink it, but generally, no. But if, if I'm having a nice, like, kind of posh night, maybe, maybe around Christmas, goes down a treat. But it's not, it's not a year-round drink. Pims, I think it's a bit overrated. When you've got a nice jug of it, sure, it's lovely. But summertime, give me a lager. Give me an alcove pop if you have to. Like, Malibu. Malibu is my favourite of all the kind of the... the it's, sh- it's not a schnapp drink. It's a rum drink. But it's like half percent of a spirit. It's my favourite of all of them. Again, you can mix it with kind of juice. You can mix it with Coke. All different options. However, it's quite expensive for what it is. And although it tastes nice... I like something a bit hardcore. And finally, the most big time of all the drinks, absinthe. Good lord, just the taste alone puts it in D. But all this preaching I've been doing about strength of drinks and efficiency, it wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be okay. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be just of me to drop it in D. After I've talked all this smack about sours and fireball and aperol, just for efficiency purposes goes in B. Listen, it's rank. That's why it's not, it's, I refuse to put it any higher at all, but it's efficient. Come on, you can't deny me that. So here is my tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any like controversial opinions, if you have any yourself that you want to send me, link them below. I'm just going to have a look at a couple of mates, you know, at uh, once, and we're going we're gonna to see what we think. First off, we have my friend Matt, who was in the beer pong video. You might remember him. Um, good man. This hurts me. Like, my body, like, He's put every single drink in D tier and hooch in S. Listen, listen. I love a hooch. I love a hooch. Hooch is a banging drink. But this is criminal. This is so criminal. Devious, some would say. Next up, we've got the one and only goal hanger. You got your ciders. 
Your Alco pops in S. Listen, that's all. That's already a red flag. Don't get me wrong. I like I like an Alco pop, but S tier, criminal. Pims and gin in A. Sure, sure. I'm not even going to deny it. And I'm seeing the whiskey in B. I'm seeing the fireball, the sours in, in C. I respect it. Then I'm seeing the tequila, the lager, in D. It's not the worst. Just the S tier kind of it, it kind of freaks me out a little bit. The fact that the lager is in D. And the ciders and the alco pop is in S. You're, you're onto something peculiar there, sir. Finally, we got the one on a critical nerd. Obviously, you know him. He's been on my channel plenty of times. This this is even worse. S tier. Sours, gin, and amaretto. A tier. Baileys and fireball. B and C tier. Okay, I, I can respect them. But D tier. You've got lager. But like, what's the these people and lager in D tier? All three of them have had lager in D tier. Sours and S and gin. Listen, I can respect gin and S tier because I feel like it is to some people's preferences. But la but sours. That's criminal. That's criminal. Alright, I'm I'm gonna end this video here. I'll link this in the description. Have a look. Do something yourself. Send me them on Twitter, Instagram, wherever. Um and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do the like and subscribe and I'll be your man people team. See ya. Awesome, awesome, so well. yeah. Now my neck is covered in gold. Woo. Just let my heart, my wrist froze. Yeah. Maybe that's why my bitch cold. Woo. I saw my son as well. Yeah. You was not where you tiptoe. Woo. Say you're the best if you're old. Yeah. Watch how that sacrifice goes. Woo. I saw my son as well. Yeah. Now my neck is covered in gold. Woo. Just let my heart, my wrist froze. Yeah. Maybe that's why my bitch cold. Woo. I saw my son as well. Yeah.